Like... you. Um...
Disappointing. I thought if I came early, I'd be the first one to arrive. <laughs> Whoa, Chiaki! You came wearing only your swimsuit! I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. But even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Um, it's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but ice cream is completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Also, I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the beach together. So, hmm, should we play it even though we came all this way to go to the beach? Nah. I see. That's disappointing. Keep you guys waiting. Ah! Akane! What happened to you? 
What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Not that! Your wounds! It, it wouldn't be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now! Uh, oh! You're talking about these. <laughs> On my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Uh, are you really all right? Your head, it looks like it's split in half. Well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spit in it, right? You're totally playing up the power of human spit! <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent even existed. Man, Kazuichi, why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why were you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah. That may be true. Hey! Awesome! Oh my my! Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology! Time to pump these puppies full of silicone! Don't say such asinine things. <laughs> uh, I am terribly sorry for my delay. my skin to be sun damaged however as I have never worn a wetsuit before I had a hard time putting it on which resulted in my delay really it is my bad oh my Miss Sonia
Then... Engines revving. has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin!
damn it. is wider y you you're a lot heavier than I expected yeah cuz I'm so buff like every time I get a massage they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles a massage huh do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast Nah, I don't have a trainer my stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages So, how's the window? Let's see. Hmm. I see, I see. So that's what happened. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. Hello there.
see? Isn't that wonderful? Hello there. Well... You don't know? Bye now.
Now then.
Oh my! Let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. How many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now then, let's first discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all... That game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game, too. 
some of us are characters in a video game? So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. is probably Mikan Tsumiki. <laughs> that timid tone. That definitely sounds like Girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. Huh? I see. Girl B was short and foul mouthed. She's probably Hyoko. Short and foul mouthed? That's like the complete opposite of me. Anyway, let's move on. Next is Girl C. Ibuki. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday! Let's move on to Girl D. I see! Girl D is my hero. The victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. Aren't you Guy F, Fuyuhiko? Huh. <laughs> I was in a game? <laughs> That's fucking stupid. Uh, that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? It was one of the names on the staff roll. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuryu. And then another Kuzuryu. Hold on! Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? I can prove it with this! In the game, Guy F, Kuzuryu, mentions that he has a little sister. Hmm? What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuryu appeared twice. By the way, what role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? I 
see. The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only person I can think of. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. Winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. Hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely based on true events. That's why it's the motive. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me, as usual, and sent me off. It happened just the other day. Um, about that, you're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! I see. So you're never gonna accept that that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. It wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's related to Gundam's last name, since they're both really plain names. Tanaka may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. No one cares about that! Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game! Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? No way! Is that true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? My, such awful times we live in! Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why girl E was killed. The reason girl E was killed is because she killed the first victim in the game. Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. What do you think, Fuyuhiko? Apparently girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fucking persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But... but... It... 
Is it... Is that true? Girl E, she... She killed the first victim? In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Classic dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as you play is a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case! Then, I'll start explaining. Girl A, Girl B, Girl C, and Girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked. So Girl D went to get the key from the office, and when the five of them were finally able to go inside, they found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means, Girlie was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But, Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girlie broke the window and escaped sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then... forget this! It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey! Is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet! After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from outside the school? To the front of the music room. To go back to the music room from outside, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four and wait in front of the music room? She probably used a hidden path. Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best! 
after she killed the first. What did Girlie do? She just broke the wind and escaped out. So how did Girlie to the front of the mute to go back to the? You need to go through. Plus, I think the other four girls should have. Been... At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. No, that's wrong. First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. If it wasn't the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. A vase? How low can you go? After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls heard wasn't the music room's window. It was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room, broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the music room from the hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. The mystery hasn't been solved yet! You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet! Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was! Not cool! I went to all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end! What the heck? You're so annoying! Fine, let's figure out the weapon. If this keeps up, I'm gonna feel like I need to shit. Which means I'll feel disgusting! You're the disgusting one! <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional! The answer was revealed in the game, though! Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? Weapon inside the music room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? Then she attacked her with the fish tank. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale, too? How about beating her with gravel instead? I agree with that. I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. My goodness. I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. <laughs> just as I thought! I'm chosen by the gods! You're not chosen at all, and gravel is impossible! It's too small to be a weapon. What if the gravel was put inside some sort of bag? A bag? What kind of bag? If the weapon is something that appeared in the game, then so is the bag. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, it'd make an effective weapon. Gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the ace attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! But for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes... And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved! 
Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy. But the real important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. And, apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. I, I somewhat understand that feeling. You can? That's pretty scary. But Girl E was also killed by someone on the fourth day. Or the game's last day. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? I see! It should have been Guy F. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. But... but... Guy F is... What? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. Hey, clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? Th that is... I'm terribly sorry, but... They don't remember! That's obvious! Because their school memories were like... Totally stolen! Even if I don't remember, I already know! It's obvious that guy is the killer! No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko! Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy! You sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. But does Mahiru's murder have anything to do with- <laughs> 